How accurate is factory ammo when paired with the custom rifle? This is part 3, The Hunt Report. Warning, this video contains images of legal hunting activities. If you are offended by these types of images, please leave now. After completing part 2, which we went to the range and tried different ammo, we settled on the most accurate hunting ammo, which is the Barnes Vore TX LR Long Range Ammunition with their 95 grain LRX boat tail bullet. This is the first rock chuck, 115 yards, and go ahead and watch what happens. I'm recording. As you watch that in slow motion, you can see the bullet hit a little low, hit the rock, blew out the chest, and sent it flying. And then we have this guy with the wind swirling at 227 yards. Um, this was a tough shot because the wind and also the mirage coming off the rocks in this little valley. But David settled down, he got in a prone position and was able to take it out. But watch what happens. The shot hit just below it, but David adjusted half a mil up and as always, you know, keep an eye on rocks after you shoot at a rock chuck. A lot of times they will come back out. This one was no exception. The suppressor on the rifle we felt helped with that. Didn't hear the shot. It came back out. Look at the fur fly and see how windy it was. This one was a big one, 91 yards. Kind of hard to see because look at the coloration. He just Get blended in. Once David found him, he took the shot. That one was 12 pounds. We weighed it. There is a picture of it in the article on our website at armature.com. You can see the exit wound on the Six back. Millimeter Creedmoor. This guy was the farthest, 272 yards, still windy, as you can see, and David made a great shot on this. And it tumbles down the hill. That was a headshot, by the way, so its nerves are going. Down it went. There's the weight on the first one, that was 12 pounds, and then that second one right there was 10 and a half pounds. We always bring a scale. Some of these guys are really big. There's a picture of the both of them with the rifle. You can see both clean kills. This one is an important one to watch. There's two there. I say we send one at him. I'm recording. Six feet more, 250 yards. Look at that. Look at the absolute power of the six millimeter Creedmoor. Just pushing out there. The, the downrange energy that that retains when it reaches those distances, this was 250, was spectacular on that. And here you see David tucked in prone. That's how he likes to shoot. And it was perfect. Just tucked in the grass there, took his time. You know, things were a little bit more still on that one and just absolutely, I mean, look at that. Went through the first one and the bullet hit the second one. Second, second one went flying 250 yards. Power is six millimeter Creedmoor. It's just, it's spectacular. So basically there's David with his double and these were the first two rock chucks shot out of this gun, even though it's the last video we showed and he did really well on those. So you saw us build the rifle. You saw part one where we showed the parts and why we chose them. Then you saw part two where we went to the range and tried the different ammo. And here's the Barnes that we ultimately chose as the most accurate hunting ammo. There's some of David's notes on this. And then 
we want to go ahead and put on here the energy of this. I mean, look at the energy at 200 yards and hit, hit our website at varmeter.com and go ahead and read the article because we compare this to the 22250 and the 243 Winchester. And there really is no comparison. So if you have any thoughts, questions, comments, post them below. We really want to hear what you have to say. Here's the other two videos I discussed. And if you want to subscribe, you can click right up there at the top. That is to subscribe to our channel. And also visit it over visit us over on varmeter.com and on Instagram, Facebook. We'd like to see you there. We post a lot of updates there as well. See you soon and we'll see you over at varmeter.com. Thank you.